Hello, my name is Cornelius Kölbel and today I will show you some new interesting features regarding U2F in Privacy Idea 2.19. Okay, just for a while Privacy Idea is already able to register, manage and authenticate different type of U2F device. For example, uh, YubiKey this is a rather cheap uh, Hyper Fido U2F device. And there are many other different kinds of U2F devices. And the problem might be that you running Privacy Idea want to know what kind of U2F device the users are using and registering. So take a, let's take a look at how Privacy Idea handles U2F devices. Um, for example, if the user, or it does not matter here, if the administrator enrolls a U2F device like the YubiKey. <clears throat> I select enroll a U2F device, I can select a user. I will not do this now anyway. So I'm asked to register this new U2F device and I have to press the button and the U2F device is registered. When we take a look at this U2F device, we also see that um, during the registration process, Privacy Idea read certain information from the registered U2F device. For example, the issuer of the attestation certificate the, um, or the subject of the attestation certificate. We can register another U2F device. Okay, yes. So let's register another U2F device. Register U2F. And it just works the same. Mm, unfortunately, you can't see it blinking that good. Anyway, it does blink. Ah, now you can see it. I push the button and the device is also registered. And here you can see <clears throat> this device has another, uh, of course, another attestation certificate, another issuer, and another subject. So now your user can go to Amazon or eBay and buy any cheap U2F device they want to, and they could register any U2F device. If you want to be in charge, um, what kind of U2F device the users should use or should register. Privacy Idea 2.19 comes with a nice new feature <clears throat> in a policy. So we can take a look at a policy in scope enrollment. And there we have a setting of a certain U2F requirement. And we can define that, for instance, the subject should comply to a certain regular expression. And only if the subject is matching this regular expression in scope enrollment, the user will be able to enroll the device. The, th the same thing is available in the scope authentication. Um, authentication. No, I'm wrong. I think it's in the scope authorization. Yes, and here you also have the U2F requirement, which means you can define which kind of U2F device the user has to use during an authentication process. But for now, we will take a look at the enrollment process. We say scope enrollment, and we set the requirement to be so that the subject of the attestation certificate should contain somehow the string Yubico to assure that only YubiKeys can be registered. Okay, the policy is active. Now let's take a look at the tokens. Oh, just let's delete the old tokens. Okay, let's register U2F devices again. We select U2F. We plug in the YubiKey, hit enroll. The YubiKey is blinking. We push the button and the YubiKey is registered. Since 
the subject of the attestation certificate contains the string Ubico. Now let's register another U2F device. Okay, register U2F, enroll. And also this key again is blinking at the moment. Privacy idea does not know which kind of U2F device is plugged in. I push the button, but in this registration process, the attestation certificate is sent to privacy idea. Privacy idea verifies or checks the subject of the attestation certificate and it says, oh, the policy does not allow that you register this kind of U2F device. So I hope you like this new feature. You can, as the administrator or as the company, decide or you can force which kind of U2F device will be used in your privacy idea setup. So thank you for watching. Subscribe and use privacy idea. Thank you.